good question because when you look at water, you know, water molecule is tetrahedral in nature. Uh, and so, um, and then the, the water structure is from which all life emerge, meaning that all life comes out of water. So you expect if there's this field of information that's actually feed, creating the feedback and creating the complexity and that is producing the biology we see around us, then you can imagine that um, this um, tetrahedral structure of water must be interacting with the tetrahedral water uh, the structure of the plonk at a very different scale, right? So it's like, it's like the information moving through the scale, through the same geometry. And then when cell emerge, then the cell, when they divide, right, then you have two cells, then you have four, then they make a tetrahedron. And then you have eight, they make a reverse one. And then they built in this 64 tetrahedron grid as well. And then you look at the DNA, and the DNA has, you know, 64 codons. That is the code that makes the DNA structure uh, function and so on. So now you, get, you start to get like that this geometry is like scaling at different levels, huge scale difference between the Planck and biology, but that the information is being transferred from one level to the other. And, uh, of course, there's some distortion as it goes, so that, that there is some loss of energy, so that, you know, there's entropy in the system, and, you know, things can build in complexity, and then they decline, you know, and so you have, you know, the building of a being, and then eventually the decline of a being. But, um, but actually, if you could modify the water so that it stays in high level of coherency, in relationship to the vacuum, you could kind of maintain, maybe, and extend life significantly by, ex by maintaining the structure of water. And just recently, I've, so I've been saying this for a long time, you know, uh, scientists study the brain to try to understand consciousness. The brain is only 10% of what's up there. The rest is water. The scientists study biology, like study the DNA. But the DNA is packed with water molecule. If you take the water molecules away, the DNA falls apart. Doesn't it, you know? Doesn't cohere. So and and so now recently, only a few months ago, I'm very glad to see this uh, occur. We're able to measure. We're able to see that it's the water molecule that's modulating the folding of DNA, the way that DNA communicate. So it's actually the water that is producing the information that makes the DNA do its thing. Water is not just this background neutral medium that biology happens to emerge from, but actually water is the conduit of information from the vacuum fluctuation into the water structure, the hydrogen and oxygen, and into, you know, eventually producing biological system using the mi minerals um, you know, relationship and the whole complexity evolving into a hundred trillion cells that are like communicating impeccably every second. You know, billions of chemical changes are occurring in you every second for you to be sitting there. Um, you know, there's incredible communication links that are occurring. There's incredible non-random effects, you know, like you could say, you know, almost um, uh, neg entropic effect, right? It's not going towards disorder. Biology is showing the universe going towards order, right? And so it really starts to give you an understanding, a deeper link. And I just published a paper with um, Dr. Val Baker and William Brown and, uh, on on the, on the link between the vacuum structure and the information in the vacuum structure through the biological structure into eventually creating a conscious, you know, self-aware system so that we can actually explain 
that the consciousness is not manufactured inside the brain or inside the water even in the brain, but that the water is like an antenna oscillating with all the biological rhythm of your body, creating a, a link to an information field that we are link like an antenna on a radio set that's tuned to a little a frequency and we actually are receiving information and we're sending information in our actions into this field of information and that is what consciousness is so it's not produced in the body so there's this huge implication both for biology and our understanding of what consciousness and how consciousness actually or self-awareness at least emerge from biology 